How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be going over all the new details on the Stanley Cup playoff event uh, as it stands right now, uh, May 7, 2021. Is it uh, good? I don't know. I mean, it's up to you guys to really decide and uh, you guys can let me know what you think about it, all right? So without further ado, here we go. So one thing I'll say right away that I do like is that there's Stanley Cup ob objectives, the event objective, which is definitely nice and there's a lot of ways to earn gold and icon collectibles, right? It's a plus. It's always a really good thing. I do enjoy when they do stuff like that, right? Uh, so it's uh, right here. I'm going to go to the objectives. And uh, as you can see right here at the bottom, it's Stanley Cup playoffs. And if you score 122 goals in Rivals, HC, or Squad Battles, you get a gold. Uh, icon for that many amount of goals. 400 shots, 800 shots. Uh, essentially, in the end, you come out with four gold and four icon collectibles. So that's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Just for, like, you know, playing, I like that a lot. I mean... I'm not going to lie, Team of the Season and the uh, All-Stars and the Moment Objectives are definitely not anywhere near the style Icon Objectives. So, this one is a lot more comparable uh, to the Stanley Cup um, one. So, the fact that uh, we went four events is pretty much having terrible objectives. Is, it's unfortunate, really. One, two, th oh, actually three more like. But, um, yeah, it's taking a while to get objectives again that are good, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know. I mean, these are good. And uh, I mean, that's one thing I'd say is definitely a bright spot on the event, no doubt. All right. Uh, then we have the MSPs, as you can see right here. You got the Kucherov, you got the Gonchar, you got the Binghamton, you got the uh, Maurice Rocket Richard, 97 overalls, 96 and 97 uh, overalls. Um, you have the NHL 2030 cards here. Uh, Perfetti, Faraby, Cairo, Broberg. This is not anything to do with the event, though. These are those cards that kind of came out with today. Um, the Champions Club also nothing to do with the event today. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of that, right? So, then what you have here is there's carbon collectibles, right? So, basically how this works, uh, it says maximum 10 Santa Cup collectibles can be earned per round. Right now, we're in round one of the event. Uh, complete event uh, challenges for Santa Cup collectibles for use in exclusive sets. Complete MSP challenges for carbon collectibles used for master item sets. Um, you know, so basically you need the carbons to make some of these uh, these players, right? Which is, you know, not too crazy. You have to do the challenges. Um, as you can see, they're right here. And, uh, yeah, you gotta just go through these. So if you want to make, like, Kucherov, um, you know, you do all that. You get a carbon collectible to get Kucherov. So a few challenges, and, yeah, it's kind of, you know, not, not the biggest fan of that. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, then for the packs, right? So the packs are also similar to the uh, previous, like, 20 events. Um, you got right here uh, the round one Stanley Cup starter pack. So... One thing, like I say, I miss a lot is uh, having the guaranteed event items in these packs. They're just gone. They don't exist anymore, unfortunately. Right now, there's no uh, player cards out for like the, from the teams for the playoffs. Maybe maybe they're waiting because the playoffs technically you know, haven't started yet, obviously, right? And they don't know really exactly what teams are playing and you know who they want to use yet. But uh, right now, that's kind of that. It's kind of mid. Really nothing crazy at all. Like, it's just, you know, there they are, right? Um, but anyway, it's like an overtime pack. Uh, these are 20 players with 183 plus overall. Uh, this is just, again, the same thing. 20, 40, and like 85 or 100 whatever K pack. That's what they always are, the packs. No uh, creativeness, unfortunately, with the packs. Um, they're very, very much the same. Uh, all right. Then when it comes to the sets, right? We were kind of talking about it a little bit earlier. So here's the Stanley Cup sets, right? So, obviously, you know, 50 golds for a gold collectible. Uh, if you trade in... 25 gold collectibles you get a random one random one of all of these msps the four not all of them the four of them right uh one tradable one which is a very risky set very very risky set i definitely don't suggest anyone doing it um yeah i mean it's a very risky set and uh i definitely don't uh, recommend recommend doing this it's just a very very aggressive thing to do so wouldn't do that and that's just one of the sets uh, this is where i actually get a little annoyed i'm not gonna lie so this one right here, as you can see, so you need a ridiculous amount of Stanley Cup collectibles. Okay, well, I, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, this is not, not that crazy, but I remember last year they gave a free uh, free Stanley Cup card to everyone <laughs> for one of the events. Uh, they don't do that this year, unfortunately. You still require a bunch of collectibles, uh, eight, 12 gold collectibles for one of the 14 that there will be in the end of these MSPs. So I'm assuming... They're going to release, uh, what is it, like, four per around, maybe, or something like that? I don't know. But this, this, this is, really, I don't get this. I don't get this. Right here, so the double, you're like, wow, okay, two gold collectibles for 60 gold players. Not bad, right? No, no, no. It's 50 gold players, but you need 
10 Stanley Cup playoff collectibles. I just don't get that. Like, I don't get that. You're making me, like, I have to play so much just to, like, get collectibles. Like, for what you're making me do to get these Stanley Cup collectibles, I should, like, get a player, in my opinion. Not two goal collectibles. That's just my opinion, but I don't know. And then here's the other uh, players. These are literally identical, of course, all of them just different, you know, players, right? So, carbon collectible is a garbing, uh, sorry, gold collectible. And then, uh, same thing, right? Uh, 86 Richard plus the collectibles, nine collectibles, uh, so on and so forth. Um, I mean, yeah, just, just the kind of the, the usual things, right? It's, uh, the usual sets. Nothing special about them by any means, right? All right, so let's look at the player cards. Let's see, are the MSPs good? That's the question. I mean, at the end of the day, the MSPs could save it, right? I mean, the MSPs could definitely uh, make it a lot better. So let's see what we got here. So 16 cards are released right now. More like, uh, I think like 10, but here we go. So nice seven overalls have ridiculously good synergies. Uh, he has four to balance, uh, four to spark, and two to swarm. Sorry, two to spark, two to swarm. Um, that's Binghamton right there. 6 1 174, 76 aggression. Very, very good card. You can't deny that. The Sergei Gonchar is extremely good. It's actually a really good one. Four to distributor, two to wingman, two to magician. Of 99 Excel, 95 speed, 99, 99, 99, 99 for your shooting stats. Literally 99 across the board. You can't really, you know, argue that or debate that. It's extremely, extremely good. Then you have Nikita Kucherov. He has four to heart and soul, two to workhorse, two to gladiator. Uh, 98 speed with distributor active. Of course, he's 99 everything for skating except for speed. His shots 99 across the board. Guys, we are now in the end game. I mean, every card pretty much at this point, like higher end MSP is going to be 99 overall for shooting stats and uh, extremely, extremely high stats everywhere else as well. So there you go. That's Nikita Kucherov right there, 97 overall edition. Then for the last card, you got Maurice Rocket Richard, four to spark, two to speedster, two to shutdown. Uh, unbelievable card. I mean, you really can't deny that. I mean. 98 speed with distributor active, 99 Excel, oh, sorry, 97 Excel uh, with Spark active. His shots 99 across the board with shot down active as well. Um, 98 agility, 99 balance, 99 endurance. I mean, really good stats all around. I mean, it's a really, really good card. 510, 180 though, a little bit too small for my liking. But other than that, I mean, solid, solid, solid card. All right, so then everything else, of course, just like one less overall. And uh, there's no event cards, right? So there's no event cards right now. I'm assuming, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping when the playoffs kind of get announced when they're going to start, they do release a uh, playoff card. Because right now, I'm very concerned. Uh, I, I just like, the playoffs are such a fun event when it's like based on when they're upgrading, right? Like when a team wins, oh, we got a plus two to them. You know, that's exciting. I hope they do that again. Because right now, where this event stands to me, it's very, very average. Uh, it's not... It's just it's kind of missing something i feel like the objectives are definitely nice i like it a lot but i don't know i don't know could be a lot better in my opinion but i don't know i want to hear what you guys think uh of the event you know do you like it you know let me know a rating of one to ten of the event uh, if you guys did enjoy this video though please leave a like subscribe renew the channel here follow me on twitch henrik instagram twitter tiktok henrik with three e's and join our discord to talk to me followers and subscribers of the channel remember use code henrik for 10 percent off your g fuel orders i'll see you all in the next video